Developing this afternoon, some tears in a Gwinnett County courtroom when a jury convicted three people, one of murder, in a home invasion trial. Channel 2's Gwinnett County Bureau Chief Tony Thomas has covered this case since its inception. And Tony, the unusual reactions of three defendants. Yeah, wide-ranging reactions as these verdicts came down. The man who was convicted of murder actually winked at his family as he was led out of the courtroom. The man who got mixed of verdicts in all this said stoically. And the one who got the best news, convicted of only one charge, cried openly. He then addressed the victim's family. James Stokes cried as the judge read the verdict, clearing him of murder and most of the other charges he faced. He will serve 20 years for conspiracy in the home invasion death of Adam Schreier in 2014. Mr. Stokes, you'll have a second chance. Schreier's stepfather, William McNeese, and mother had words for the three men. Your choice has took our son from us. When you went into my son's home that day, you decided to play God. Devon Jenkins is the convicted trigger man, the only one of the three found guilty of murder. He'll be sentenced at a later day. Pierre Scott also went into the Duluth home that day. He later gave this taped confession to police. Jurors found him guilty of most of the charges, but not of murder. The judge gave him life in prison, plus five years. This is the second trial related to the murder that Judge Timothy Hamill has ruled over. He showed his disgust as he handed down the sentences. That it speaks to all of the worst aspects of our being and I guess of our society. And the ringleader of this home invasion crew is already serving life in prison. Live in Gwinnett County, Tony Thomas, Channel 2 Action News.